Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Stephen Mail with cherries. We have some cherries and we figured you guys wouldn't mind that we're making this video but we also got like a piss load of cherries and we're going to be eating some cherries while we open the mail. Hopefully that's okay. <laughs> Hopefully you don't mind. You also notice that Mao is with me which is a good thing. Plus one Mao. Mao is going to be a permanent uh, co-star. Co She's going to be with me for mail opening from now on because she should have been here in the first place. I could have been over there eating cherries. <laughs> yeah, I would have been like, Mallory's busy and she would have been off screen just watching me going. Anyway, as uh, per usual, we got some leathers to open and uh, we're going to start with the ones that aren't leathers. They're just, they're postcards. postcards. They're postcards and there's two of them and they both have Aloha stamps on them and I'm not really sure which one to start with so I'm just going to start somewhere. Um, so let's see. These are from Illinois, even though the Aloha thing on the postcard makes me think that they were sent from Hawaii, but they weren't. Anyway, hey Steven, I am a fan and at school we sent postcards, so I thought I would send it to you. I watch your LPs and I am thinking of making the journey. I'm also a member of your Steam group, but I have not yet participated. I like most of your LPs and you do a good job to make them enjoyable. A word of advice on your Pokemon Let's Play. For a water type, don't get Magikarp. My good buddy Owen also sent a card. Maybe you read his already. Anyway, keep being awesome. Bad Wolf. And it also says, Steven, I hate Fandle, Shadow of Venusaur, Taco Bell, Gordon Freeman, Coach 1962 was a long time ago, farthest Nintendo person who hasn't played Dragon Quest. That needs to change. Awesome Man George. It's apparently my name. And this is from Owen. was his friend. His friend Owen. I'm going to read this one. I wanted to show the arts. See it? It's the Half-Life symbol. And also it says Stephen George, and my last name is going through a portal. Stephen, I'm a person who lives in Illinois. I have seen your videos, and they are awesome. You are funny and good at video games. Don't tell Toby Games I said this, but you're a lot better at video games than Toby Games. <laughs> Do you play TF2? Occasionally, but not very often. If you don't, you should try it. From Owen. I've watched a little bit of Toby Games, and uh, a lot of people like him, but some uh, it seems like a lot of people who are like, I don't know, really into... Like, the, the, the walkthrough portions of games hate Toby Games because he's funny, but he is not in any way, shape, or form informative, and he's pretty terrible at video games. Uh, from the few I've watched, you know, he's cracking jokes and everything, but there's so many times you're like, Toby, come on, dude, dude, it's very obvious what you're supposed to do, you know. They, they just gave you this new move. They're trying to get you to use the new move, you know, that kind of stuff. Anyway, well, Owen and Bad Wolf which is an awesome name. I really hope that your actual name is Bad Wolf, one word. That would be sweet. We're naming our first son Bad Wolf. Owen and Bad Wolf. I appreciate the uh, the postcards. We're going to move on to the uh, other letters. We have a uh, letter from Granger, Indiana. Also, I used to, uh, on the vlog back in the college days, I opened all the mail we got uh, based on the date that it was sent. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm opening it in order of the postmark date. Just so you know. And there's a card right off the bat, and it says, Denise, aka Idenis. 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 It's, it's a Tidewater minion. Denise may also be Dennis, but with a Z, which I should clarify because if it's Dennis, he probably doesn't want to be called Denise. <laughs> Got a leather here, it says, Totally not the leather. Open first. Dear Stephen and Mallory, hi Stephen and Mallory, I'm Denise, pronounced Denise here, ethnicity Turkish and I'm a girl. Got it. Okay, so I was right, first, first time. Uh, my name can be confusing to some. I'm from Indiana. Like many, many other people, I've been watching since the Choco Conroy vlogs, but right after that I wanted to know who Mallory was, so I just kind of looked you guys up on YouTube and saw your engagement video, then your marriage video, then I just continued watching from there. Then a lot of people started talking about the Steven journey, so I started watching from the beginning, and I'm in the 100s right now. Alex is hilarious. The, the I guess, drama romance thing with you and Mallory is sad when you guys first said goodbye to each other at the airport. Probably vlog 49, I am Dan, and 82, I have so much to say right now and all I can hear are Link and Pikachu, are my favorite so far. I also wanted to say that on your Steven Place channel, I've been watching your Skyrim Let's Play, and it is just awesome. Fando is my favorite character, Team Fando or Team Fartus. Sorry if it seems like I am jumping around from topic to topic, because I do that. I gotta say that even though it may not last, I love how interactive you are with your fan base. It's really nice that you keep up with your fans, because many people don't do that. Also, I am Dan, then there's a link to the Taco Bell Wikipedia page. I love the texture of the shells at Taco Bell. Did you try to click a link on a piece of paper? 
Anyway, with this I have sent a signed card and a picture of you shoving the camera into Alex's face because I know how he complains about that, at least in the early vlogs. Okay, now I have one question. After that first day, you and Mallory said goodbye in the vlog. You both go on the Steven Vlog channel only to find that all the vlogs up to vlog 899 are uploaded, even though you haven't actually experienced it in real life yet, but it's uploaded in video. My question is, would you watch all the vlog videos to see how your guys' life turned out? Or would you keep the surprise? Does that make sense? I don't know. Anyway, sorry for the long letter. Just another Steve Knight. Denise, aka I Denise. <laughs> ah! <laughs> to answer your question, I think I would check out one. I wouldn't want to ruin- ran A random one? Yes. I wouldn't want to ruin the wedding or the engagement. I mean, I know it happened, but- I mean, we had been together for a year and a half before the vlog started. Which is another thing, I guess, entirely. Like, or maybe it's not related at all. Anyway, I, it, basically the question is, if, if I could know the future, would I want to know? No. No. It's more fun. It's more fun. I wouldn't want to know what happens to anybody or anything. Or I think it's more fun to just live it and see what happens. Anyway, Denise, I appreciate your letter. Very nice letter. And we're going to go to the second little thing. It says, 1962 was a long time ago. <laughs> it looks just like Alex. <laughs> <laughs> it does, actually. Uh, let's see if you guys can see that. His trademark suspenders and collared shirt. Yeah, I'm. I, there's Alex here, and I'm over here. And uh, Denise apologizes for how I look. <laughs> I look pretty amazing, but that looks exactly like Alex. And uh, I, I said, hey, Alex, and I have the, the flip in his face, and he says, Steven, you're a little close there. And it's day 84, bad haircut. That's funny. Look at that. That is that's Alex, man. If you if you put a kid with with uh, you know short, messed up hair, glasses, and suspenders, it's Alex. Anyway, Denise, I appreciate everything. We're going to move on to the next letter, which is from Sam Ewell in South Beach, Oregon. Oregon. I opened that magic. Like, did you see that? I was just like, I barely touched it. It was like, Phew. wow. There's a lot of paper in here. Wow. First off, there's a card. Do you know who that is? It's, um... It's Graveler? No. No, I don't know. It was Graveler. Oh, it was? Yeah, that was Sweet. a really good first guess. Wait, let me read it in Japanese. I forget some of those characters because I remember Hiragana, but not Katakana very well. Oh, yeah. That was a good first... How do you know that? It just came to you? Yeah. Graveler. I thought maybe Graveler was the... Pre-evolution of that? Is oh, that how, what you say? Geodude? Oh. Geodude, Graveler, and Gollum. Okay. Or Golem. Anyway, go ahead. To Stephen and Mel from Samuel. Hi again, you guys. I just wanted to share a few things I couldn't cover in my last letter. Recently, I got an Xbox 360 from my awesome cousin in England. Anyway, I've never owned an Xbox or a 360 before, so I had no idea what games are good on it. Plus, at $60 a pop, I can't afford to waste my money on a flop. Hey, rhyme. Rhyme. Here's where you come in. Thanks to Demo Fridays, I now own Splosion Man and Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, and I'm hoping to get Halo Anniversary soon. Nice. I got the orange box just for Half-Life, and I own Skyrim. Funny story, I went out the last day before you switched to the 360 and bought it for a full $60. Then I wake up to find you abandoned the PC. Oh well. <laughs> Question time, Steve. Chance time! <laughs> Sorry, I, that was, that's funny. <laughs> Did your inner Mario Party come out? <laughs> do, 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 do. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Steven, will you let's play Oblivion? No. <laughs> I know we're not supposed to ask. Just no, trolling you. No, I will not play Oblivion. Mm -mm. No. It's, they're, they're trolling. You hating? Real question, do you dislike it if people misspell your name with a V instead of a PH? Yes. And, like... It, in any other situation, I really don't care because it's spelled both ways. But when my channel names are spelled with PH and like the memorable moments, like Stephen Plays comes up with the PH and like when people, when I'm responding to people, there's been times I've been responding to people, you know, and it's written right there. In my mind, I'm like, how you do, like how you mess that up. It's right there, it's right there, it's right there, it's right there. But really it doesn't bother me too much. I don't, I don't like point it out to people because it's not a big deal. Anyway. Mal, I'm in a high school photo class. Can you give me any subjects that you as a teacher would like to see more of? Basically you're saying to capture humans in natural environments? Yeah, not like 
As opposed to taking pictures of... People that are just snapshots. Yeah. Yeah. Photojournalism is really hard to do in my opinion, but that's a great one to see. Things that are really overdone, babies, kittens, things kittens. like birthday parties. Take all the pictures of kittens you want and send them to me. That's fine. My college professor for photography said he never wanted to see any cats, ever. And um, we made it a game to bring in a cat picture that we had taken and be like, what do you think of this one, Guillermo? <laughs> and um, if you've seen the vlog, you may have seen it over Steven's shoulder. There's a picture near our front door of my cat, Mel, that I took and I brought into my professor. And I was like, Guillermo, what do you think of this cat picture? And he's like, well, he's like, you could up the contrast a little bit. He's like, but that's pretty good. <laughs> so, um, that was an interesting story. I know I've gone on long enough, but here are some pictures of the cake I sent the recipe to you before. I always strive to keep happiness and good food and good friends in your lives. P.S. Rhubarb is in season. More P.S. Here are some movies that I love and think you will too. I can't get... Thank you. Anyway, movies that I love and I think you will too. Mm -hmm. Melody Time, like Fantasia, but older. True Stories, a completely cool multi-purpose movie. Buckaroo Banzai, Across from the Eighth Dimension. With a title like this, you've gotta see it. The Gods Must Be Crazy, a film classic. Oh Brother, Where Art Thou, music is great. I agree with Oh Brother, Where Art Thou, it's a great yeah, movie. Yeah, that's the only one I've seen, although I've heard of Melody Time. Anyway, that card we held up earlier. Grabbler? Yeah. A pocket monster card I found in the mud 17 miles from the nearest house or business. Weird. You have traveled a great distance to get here. So here are pictures of the cake. Cake? He sent us a recipe last time, and these are the cake he made. Cake. Oh, it's cool. Like, on the back, you guys can't see it very well, but on the back are the like I was going to read it. And he shows it in progression. And then there it is. It's done. That's what it looks like when it's finished. It actually looks pretty good. You see that? Yeah. It's rhubarb really cake. We, we have like so many recipes that we want to make and it's just like we don't have time to make them and it's really bad because people now send always them, send desserts yeah and th that's I think that's the, the worst thing is that people send these desserts and they look so good but if we made all the desserts we wouldn't have teeth they just all rot out because there's so many desserts but they look so good we gotta like send them to my mother <laughs> to be like mom make these so when we get home they're ready Anyway, Samuel, thank you very much. We appreciate that. And we're going to move on to the next letter. Our next letter is from David in Indialantic. That's a real word. Indialantic, Florida. Inside we have, I can already see a really friggin' awesome drawing. I don't want to open that yet, even though I'm very tempted. We've got a little letter here. Salutation, Stephen Amell. I quite enjoy your... I don't actually talk like that, but hello, Stephen Amal. My name is David, and I'm 13. I love your vlogs and LPs. I've been a fan ever since the chug of vids, as I'm also a fan of him. Anyway, I wanted to send you a letter since you are doing Stephen Mail. I admire you and your marriage with your lovely wife, Mal, and she helps you with your channel. That amazes me. Your Shadow of the Colossus LP got me to not be lazy and get the game. I love it so much. I have sent you some fan art regarding your Shadow of the Venusaur. I did not draw it. I would have done so, but then I thought, eh, too lazy. So yeah, I threw it together for you. I made a hobo pack, and it was delicious. Tell Mao I said thank you for the recipe. I hope you and Mao have a wonderful life and marriage together. Sincerely, David. Well, David, I appreciate the leather, and David said he did not draw this, but I'm sure it looks cool. Let's see here. Shadow of the Venusaur off piss. So we have uh, what appears to be a drawing of uh, Phaedra here, and then we have the, the backside of Venusaur, like, attached to it. It's almost like Venusaur is riding on Phaedra. There's a lot of contrast here, so you guys can actually see it, which is good, because a lot of times there's, uh, there's like pencil drawings, you can't see them very well. And also, you can see uh, Wander hanging on, he says, oh, piss. Oh, Wander. Anyway, David, I very much appreciate your leather and the art. And we're going to move on to, uh, what is this, uh, Andrew. Andrew from St. John's, Newfoundland. Also, it's really funny because he wrote, Stephen George, P.O. Box, blah, 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 Columbia, South Carolina, United States of America, North America, Planet of Earth, Milky Way Galaxy. Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff written on the back. There's a lot of stuff. Wow, look at this. Stephen Vlog has helped me become an editor, make a vlog, become a YouTube partner, listen to They Might Be Giants, try Taco Bell for the first time, make references no one else except one person gets, enjoy video games much more, make more diabetes jokes, uh, enjoy the Mother series more, 
and then he put that there's links in the sidebar, and he actually made a sidebar with links, and uh, it says, it has a link to, to Dan's YouTube channel, my uh, YouTube channel, presumably his YouTube channel, my vlog, Nintendo Speaks, Daily Pack, and uh, this is the part where Steven writes a video description. Not only did he send a crap load of stuff, but this doubles as a hat. There we go. <laughs> I'm wearing your leather as a hat. Hello, Stephen Amal. I'm <laughs> funny. I'm the Pope. I'm Andrew, but you will probably know me as Andrew Potius on YouTube. Pronounced Andrew Potius. It rhymes with atrocious. Got it right. I thank you for making a vlog. I started watching at episode 500 and continued on, and then one day I got sick. Really sick. I couldn't talk or walk for three days, and so I was bored, as I had watched all of the normal YouTubers' new releases. And then I thought, well, I should watch all the vlogs. And so in one day, I knocked out 499 days of your life in three days. <laughs> that sentence was a little misleading. <laughs> and so in one day, I knocked out 499 days of your life in three days. <laughs> That reminds me, there's a scene in Anchorman where he's using this crazy cologne and he's like, 50% of the time it works every time or something, I don't know. Anyway. And also I have watched all your Let's Plays and have gotten at least three of my friends hooked on your videos. Your vlog has given me inspiration to make my own vlog, which I make once per week. I have included a drawing of what started me on watching the vlog, as well as my cat looks a lot like your cat. When my mom first saw Rocco in the vlog, she asked why I was watching a video of our cat. I have also included lots of recipes for you as they are tasty. Pretzels, as Steven, I know you love your pretzels. Whole wheat pizza dough, because you guys love pizza and are trying to be a lot healthier. Baked potato soup, as it is great, and the oat bran muffins, as they helped my dad become healthier and were recommended by his dietitian to him. Watch out, the muffins may have the consistency of concrete when you mix them, but you are doing it right. My mom thought she screwed up the recipe. If you want, I also have a website, andrewpotius.tk, if you want to take a look. Thank you again, Andrew. P.S. I know this is late, but when I came home from school when Sonic Generations first came out, I said, oh yeah, Sonic and Malplay Steven Generations comes out today. It sort of became a household meme from then on. PSS, Dear Mal, wondering how you deal with left-handed kids. My friend was left-handed and our kindergarten teacher told him he was doing it wrong and made him use his right hand to write, and now he is right-handed. Um, I don't. I let them, I mean, if my children really wanted to draw with their feet, I guess I might let them. I mean, who's who's to say that there's a right and wrong way? I mean, yeah. different people are different. I mean, the, the biggest problem for me is scissors. Because I don't have money to buy right-handed scissors and then, like, eight left-handed scissors. Yeah. And it's really hard for left-handed kids to use right-handed scissors. And it's really hard for you to say scissors more than, like, four times in a row. Yeah. <laughs> scissors, 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 scissors. Scissors. <laughs> BBS, my social studies teacher must be really confused because on a multiple choice test, one choice was 1962, and beside it I wrote, was a long time ago. <laughs> also, my friend's dad was born in 1962. When I said that it was a long time ago, he mentioned it, and there was a really awkward silence. PPSS, Nintendo Sings Christmas Classics is one of the best Christmas albums of all time. And on the back of this leather, <laughs> there's a picture of day 166. With the That's Dan thing. That's Dan. It's kind of hard to see, I know, but just imagine in your mind. There's a piece of paper here that says, LOL, screwed up, so here, have a free self-addressed envelope for you. So this is an envelope that apparently he was trying to write the first time, but he put my name in the top left corner instead of the middle. So there's another envelope. Guess what you get to have? Now you've done it too far. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. We're beautiful. There needs to be a screen cap of this. And then just Steven vlog written across it and be like, if, if you're trying to get your friends interested in the scene vlog, show them the screen See, cap. You this it is, too far. I'm sorry. You know what we look like? We look like people that make donuts. The Krispy Kreme people. That's what we look like. I think we look like Harry Potter in the first movie where they wear the hats without any brims. I, I've only ever seen that once and it was in theaters too long ago. So we have uh, the recipe for the soft pretzels. And on the back, there's a picture of Ninten and Steven vlog. I know it's a little hard to see. And then we have the whole wheat pizza dough. And we have a, we have a tasty pretzel. Then we have healthy toppings for pizza. And on the back is a potato couch from Ninten Speaks Sleep It's Important. Apparently I talked about a potato couch. 
I baked potato soup. On the back there is no drawing. See, now I'm just really interested in the drawings. At the end it says, thank you for reading this encyclopedia, Andrew. Yep, this is two months late. The back will have pictures. We've already been looking at the back. Here's Alex, Taylor, and Nick. You can see, uh, Taylor, Alex, Nick. And then we have a screen capture of a vlog day where there's where Dan's like dancing or something. Is that the vlog day where I'm like, hallelujah? I don't remember, I don't remember what day that is. And then on the back it says, I watched all the videos. My feel after finishing Vimeo, LP's vlog, Nintendo, and Xvice GMG1 videos and daily pack. There's probably more hidden somewhere on the internet. Maybe. There, there is stuff all over that I don't even remember. And then uh, my cat looks like Rocco. Wow. I thought that was Rocco. <laughs> it was a screenshot of Rocco. I thought this was a screenshot of Rocco. That's amazing. <laughs> it's like a thin Rocco. It's weird because the, my parents' carpet is burgundy. <laughs> so this looks like a real like screenshot. Like I, I thought it was Rocco. And he was like, oh, it's my cat. I'm like, oh, wow. No wonder. That's crazy. And then finally we have, uh, that's Dan again, and it's day 166. That's Dan. If you guys haven't seen day 166, watch it, because it's fantastic. If just for that part. It's funny. Anyway, Andrew, that was one heck of a letter with recipes and all kinds of stuff, but I appreciate it. Thank you so much for sending that. Um, and now we're going to move on to the last letter. Uh, we opened six today, sort of. Five and then two postcards. Postcards count as six, we'll do that. Okay, yeah, actually that'll be the new thing. People will be writing on the envelope, be like, please use this as a hat. <laughs> so I'll be like, okay. Uh, the, the last letter for today comes from Jared in Charlotte, North Carolina. Dear Steven, I've been a fan of your vlog since a year and a half ago, and you are one of the main reasons I'm hooked onto magic like I am. And close in the envelope with this letter is a magic card I made of you using the Magic Set Editor, aka my favorite program ever. Keep on being awesome, and I hope to see you vlogging for a long time to come. Sincerely, Jared. A.K.A. Gerardsley. Gerardsley. A.K.A. a random guy that plays video games. P.S. Excuse the shoddy handwriting. P.P.S. I've also included a signed magic card with my amazing possibly signature. Da na na na. It's funny because I just watched Mal play Wind Waker like last night and like there's a scene right at the beginning when he gets the shield from his grandma but then the camera like moves and he's standing there doing nothing. Like there's nothing above him. It's really funny. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. <laughs> the flavor text is great. I'm glad that it's blown up like this so you guys can more easily see it. Hi Steven, what's up? I'm mating, making. Steven George, day 313, I'm mating. Jared, awesome leather, awesome art. Can't wait to put that up on the board and uh, your card up in the frame. And that is it. We opened quite a lot of mail. We actually still have quite a lot of mail left. So probably very soon you guys are going to be getting yet another episode of Steven Mail. But thank you guys for joining us. If you want to send a letter to us, you can go over to the channel page in the top right hand corner up, up in this general area on the channel page. Uh, you will see an address, write us, and it'll, it'll get here. And uh, actually, I mean, you guys got plenty of time, but Pretty soon, you won't be able to send us mail for a small amount of time while we are in the process of moving to a new place. So if you want to send mail, you got like two months to get it in. Otherwise, it's gonna there's gonna be a period of like two or three weeks where you won't be able to send any. So do it. Send mail. We we'll use it as hats. Anyway, thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys late later. I will use it as a hat if they ask politely.